Hi everyone. Welcome to our Octane YouTube channel, where we focus and talk about IBM Planning Analytics, which is also known as TM1. In this video, we will be covering on how to write feederless rules. Now, let's get started with our main demo on feederless rules. In normal scenario, what we do, when we write a rule, and also write a feeder to feed that, so that we can get the correct number, at consolidation level. Now, I will take you to the demo, where I have a test server. In that I have two cubes. One is my headcount cube and, another one is, TA rate cube. First, I will show you the headcount cube, where I have five dimensions. Version dimension, time dimension, band dimension, location dimension, and my measure dimension. In major dimension, I have two elements. One is my headcount, which I had already inputted. And second one is travel allowances cost, TA cost, which, we are going to calculate. Now, I will show you my second cube which is, TA rate cube. I already inputted my TA rate, per employee, as 5000. Now, we are going to write a rule, to calculate my PA cost. What we need to do, we have to right click on the headcount cube, and click on create business tools. Then a rule editor window will open in the right pane. I have already written a rule in the notepad. We will just copy the rule, and paste it into my rule editor, and click on save. Now, we will go to sheet 1, where we have headcount cube view, and click on refresh. Then we can see the numbers in TA cost. So for band 1, U underscore 1 and for the month of January 2018. We can see my total cost is 15,000. Which is 5,000, per employee cost, multiplied by 3, headcount. If, I go and apply suppress 0. Then you can see that TA underscore cost column gets disappeared. Because we haven't write any feeder for the rule. In this scenario, one way is. We have to write the feeders to my rule. Then only we can see TA underscore cost value. But, in today's video we are going to show you, how we can see calculated numbers without any feeders. What we will do, I will edit my headcount measure dimension and because my PA cost is based on my headcount. So, I make headcount as child of my PA underscore cost. To do that, I just drag the headcount element, and drop it over my PA underscore cost element. Now we can see my PA underscore cost is parent of my headcount element. We will go to the headcount view again and, refresh the view to see result. Now, you can see the PA cost numbers are same as headcount. And the reason is, because we have written a rule, at N level known as leaf level. Now to correct the TA underscore cost calculation, we have to change the rule to C level also known as consolidation level. In rule editor, we will replace N colon with C colon. Now, my rule becomes my consolidation level rule. Save the rule file and then go back to the sheet, where we have headcount view and refresh it. Now, we can see it is calculating the correct cost, without any feeder. I already applied suppress 0 on it. And still we can see the PA underscore cost. This is the way, where we can write rules without feeder. I request you to keep following our YouTube channel. And, click on the bell icon to receive, our next video notification. Thanks for watching my video. See you in our next video.